Hey everyone, how is everyone doing today? My name is Gina and I am doing great. So who's ready to begin building this cutie pie little album that we're doing this time around? It's for a wedding. Oh, my little helper fell asleep. <laughs> we're doing it landscape instead of portrait, which I normally do. I haven't done a landscape in a really long time, so I wanted to do a landscape. Um, we are using the um, my wedding tag along printable mini album template, and we're also going to be using the love story um, paper line. I think it's so pretty. I think it's perfect for an album, and uh, we're also my helpers laying on them, but we're also going to be using some of my. Uh, wedding background, and wedding um, ephemera. So, you can find my templates and my ephemera and all that on my Etsy stop shop. And of course, all that's going to be linked down below. So, I have already pretty much um, gotten everything ready. So, all we have to do is just put this bad boy together. But, I did want to take a second in case you are brand new to building um, mini albums, you're probably wondering like, okay, well, what do we do? So, I wanted to just quickly go over. Um, when you uh, purchase my template, you do get a guide that kind of tells you step by step, you know, what to do. But, you know, what better than a video to show? So, the templates, of course, are a template. Um, what I do is I print them out on like one 10 card stock and I cut them out and so therefore it's my template right or if you wanted you could also um, just print them on a piece of paper whatever way you want to do it and then you can cut it out um, so I like to hand do it uh, it I don't know why um, because I like to mix and match so here's our cover and our spine you have a choice of a two page and a four page spine and we're doing the four page this time around and these are just little doodahs that you can put in just to embellish it a little bit better now your base page is right here and then your base pocket page is right here and you need both of these in order to create a page because they sandwich together and then they slip on to the hinge right here right so that is what we're going to go ahead and do right now I've already cut out the base page this page right here and as you can see I write down what it is and then I write where the mat is so I can just flip to that page so for instance this is on page 11 are you waking up are you are you gonna pay attention <laughs> then so here is the mat right so and then, of course, I have on here that this is the mat. So, but I've already cut out the base page. So, there it is. So, now I need to cut out the pocket. Because we do, again, we need the pocket. Because without it, there's no way to put our pages on here. So, with our pocket, of course, we're going this way. Now, we need to decide, do we want to have it where an insert can go in this way or do we want it where the insert goes in this way so I'm gonna have it where the insert um, I think I'm gonna have it where it goes in this way so what I need to do is I need to cut off this tab and I need to cut off this tab because I don't need them because the, on this tab is where the hinge is going to go it's going to fit right in like that and then on this side is where the insert will end up going right so um, what we need to do now is we just need to cut this out move this out of the way my helper is a sweet all right, and just 
gonna put that over to the side because we can use that. And again, like I said, we're not gonna need, oops, I almost cut the wrong thing. We're not gonna need the shorter tabs. So, I'm gonna line it up the best that I can. And I'm just gonna cut those off because we don't need them. This, I'm just gonna trim it out. And then again, we don't need this side either since I'm putting the insert in the side. All right, so now we have something that looks like this. It's just a rectangle, but we still have our lines. Now, on our template, you'll notice that the lines are here. This is where you score, but in this case, we cut these off, so these are gone. All right, so we have it looking like that. So now we need to score this solid line. So whenever you see in the template a solid line, um, nine times out of 10, that's where you're gonna score. So I'm gonna go ahead and line this up on my scoreboard and use my little implement here. And I'm just going to score it on the line. Right? Okay. So we have something that looks like this. So now we need to just notch it. Now you don't have to follow this line if you don't want to um, because it's going to be hidden anyway. So there we go. So we have them nice and done, right? And so now what I want to do is I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to ink them up so I don't forget to do that. And I'm just going to ink them on the sides here. And that's this is totally optional. You don't have to ink if you don't want to. I personally like the look of the ink um, than with it out being inked. But it's your preference. It's whatever you want to do. It's your book. You do it whatever way or album. All right. So now I've got that inked. Now I'm going to take my score tape and we're going to just put some tape on these tabs right here. And up here. Sometimes I forget that maybe I have a new person and they're not quite familiar with how the templates work, what they're all about, and all that. So I just kind of wanted to go over a little refresher um, so that they wouldn't feel lost. Okay, so now we have our base page right here. Oops flip it over this way. Okay, and I'm going to use some glue stick and what that does, just I'm just barely putting it on there though, and what that does is if case I need, if, you know, to move it a little bit, it'll give me a little time because this tape, when it sticks, it sticks. Alright, so now I'm going to just line the edge up Take our bone folder, that's the name. I didn't think of it a minute ago. Alright, and it looks like I'm a little long, but I'm okay. I'm just gonna trim that off. We can go back and ink that too, and it'll make it okay. But we're fine. Alright, so now do the same thing for this guy. I'm going to take the tape off of him, and again, I'm going to use just a little bit of glue stick, and he should just fold right down onto the edge, just like that. 
because it's paper, you can manipulate this and score it a little better. But there you go. So, and if you are like, okay, that looks a little wonky, you can always just put a little bit more ink on there and no one will know. All right, so see now we have the way our page and it's when we get it built it's gonna slip right in there just like that I'm sorry baby kitty just like that and then we'll be able to put an insert in this way right so but I'm gonna go ahead and build it first and then we can um, do all that other. All right. Oh, but we do need to get a mat. So I'm going to look here and I see that it's on page 11. Now again, um, this is written in the guide. I'll show you. So like, let's see. See, like page two is your base page, A, right, and then it will tell you mats for A and B are on page 11. So it's also written if you don't want to write on your template, you'll, you'll have it in your guide. All right, so we can use, oh, I just took it out. We can use either this or I have a fancy mat that you could use as well. Um, which actually may be pretty. Um, I tried it with my last album and we were using like a cream color and I wasn't really like happy with that. But I think if it's black or maybe even this dark brown, it might actually look pretty. Um, actually this is going to be what's going on this side. We just have to decide, do we want it to look like that? Or do we want it to be more, you know, rectangular? Hmm, I don't know. Well, so, hmm. I kind of like that. Kind of cool. But I think I'm going to go ahead and go with the, the regular one, actually. But there's two options, so you have an option. And if you noticed, we don't really need this full piece because most of it is being covered by the pocket here. About half of it is. So if we wanted, uh, we could just use a piece of scrap paper and again it's going this way so we got to be mindful of that see like I don't mind this down here it's got a little bit of writing right I'm gonna have if we bring it up I like that actually so I'm gonna use that one little piece right there and it looks like the width is wide enough that was looked okay to me so I'm just gonna maybe there's my little pencil do a little mark just so I know need to cut it instead of having to trace out anything and again though you could print this um maybe go up from there just a little um you can actually print this if you wanted to okay and it will go something right around there and then this will go on top of it like that. Oh, that's cute. I like it. 
And then here's the mat for that. So we can actually just put this back. do this but let's not forget to ink this okay and again I'm using gathered twig um, distressed ink by Tim Holtz and I'm gonna be using Fabri attack to Adhere it down. we have this pocket that we're gonna make and it's gonna go right here and this is just a craft card stock that I got from Hobby Lobby and again I've already put the tape on it and again the dark lines let me know where I need to score Again, I'm using just a little bit of glue stick. I've got a little bit of glue there. Shouldn't need to be there. Just in case if I have to wiggle it. And then here is our mat for it. That was globby. I didn't like it being globby. All right. And I will decide when we start to embellish it if I want to put the whole um, in it or not. Sometimes you have to kind of make the decision on the right then, right there, but there's enough room that I can get in there to create the hole if I need to. Okay, and then we also have this belly band, and it is, oh, I meant to tell y'all, this pocket was on pocket, is from page number four, right here. So the mat's on page 12, and then this is the belly band that is on page number 2, and its mat is also on page 11. It's right there. So I want to try to remember to tell y'all, since I'm cutting it out and everything, I want to try to remember to tell you what page it's on, in case you're interested in doing it. And then this will just go right here. Let's put a little bit of glue on it just in case. Oops, sorry, baby. I'm going to put that right there. Did you waking up? You're waking up from your nap. And then we'll take this. Again, this was the map from page 11. And we'll set it right there. 
Oh, isn't that cute? I like that. All right. All right, now over on this side, I have this pocket and this pocket is on page number five. It's right here. So the mat was on page 13. Oh, sweet boy. So, I'm going to go ahead and create the pocket. Are you helping? You're going to help, Jack? You're going to help, sweet boy? You look so tired, Jackie. You played hard, huh? You know, Bella? <laughs> Alright, and... Another glue, just to make sure. And it's going to go this way. So I want it to the insert to go in like that. So I'm going to place it like this. And then I've already got the mat. going to put little um, a belly band and these are from page four and what I did is I just printed them out on vellum paper so I do have these and um, see like I think I can go ahead and just put them down without having to decide if I want to do um, eyelets or not. More than likely I probably will because um, the vellum is so thin that I would want to make sure or I might just leave it like this. I don't know. I'm not decided yet. Alright now these belly bands are made where they're supposed to be a tiny little gap in between them. So that's not um, I didn't cut it wrong. That's designed. Ooh, ooh. Oh, kitty. That's the way I designed it. Um, was so that it could. I, I wanted it to look that way. So I'm just trying to get them lined up. Okay, that looks good. And of course, I should have done this before I put the glue down or the fiber tack down. But I forgot I was going to do that until I saw them. <laughs> I was like, oh yeah, I'm going to put Billy Ben there. Alright, so. Let me just put it right back. Fiber tack is tacky. Okay, there we go. That's going to be cute. So I have to decide um, how I want to keep that down. But it goes this way. So that is it for page one. So that was a quick, easy build, wasn't it? Yes, it was. Mm -hmm. So now we can go ahead and, oh, whoops. I do need to put this, though. I just used a piece of scrap paper, and I'm going to put it right there. Right, Jackie boy? And let's see, it'll slip right in there. All right, there we go. Now then, now we can put it in our album. So what I want to do, and I'll show this this time, and then the rest of the time I'll do it off camera, um, 
is we want to, I always like to put two pieces of tape. Now, when we put, let me show you, I'll try to scooch in a little bit. Okay. So when we put our page on, we don't want it to go all the way down like that because then it kind of gets hung up. We do want it to have a little bit, just a tiny, 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 just like we did with the um, hinge here. We want it to have a little bit of space so that it freely moves because if we put it too far down, it'll just stick straight up like that, okay? So what I like to do is I like to put my score tape on and I like to go ahead and give myself that one little bitty room so I know how far down to go. And I put two strips on each side. And I'll go over on this side. because this is what holds our book in, our pages in the, the album. So we want to make sure that we have enough adhesion. Okay, and we'll put it right here. Now, I, again, I've used the Fabri-Tac and um, just put a little bit of line on there. Not a lot, but it helps to make it slick. I know some people don't do that. They just use the tape because they don't want to compromise. But, and I'm not going to unload, I've never, um, I've never had it where uh, the pages didn't stay in by me using uh attack. So, but just be aware of that. That it could potentially keep the stickiness from the score tape from really grabbing on like it should. Alright, so again, it's going to be just the smallest, smallest, smallest amount And again, it's just to help help it to slide on there. And again, some people do not do that, but I do. All right. So now we just stick our page down in there. And again, we want to make sure we're leaving a little bit of a space. And we want to make sure that we are even and all that good stuff. And we look good. So there we go. So there's page one done. Oh, and that cute. Except for the embellishing. And we will do that later on. So there, page one done. Isn't that going to be cute? Oh, I think it's going to be adorable. I love it. All right. So. I hope that you enjoyed the video. I hope that it inspired you. Um, if you have any questions, please feel free to email me or um, um, and my email is in my about place at, on my um, homepage or whatever it's called on YouTube. Um, but you can also join my Facebook group and you can ask questions there. Um, but if you have any questions or you can you know, put it down in the comments, whatever you want to do. Um, so, and I'll be more than happy to answer them for you. All right, y'all. Well, thanks so much for watching. I truly appreciate it. If you like the video, please give it a thumbs up, share it, and subscribe if you've not already subscribed. And if you have, thank you so much. I truly appreciate it. But don't forget to hit the notification bell to be notified for every time that I post a video. All right, y'all. Y'all be good to one another. And I'll talk to you later. Bye.